Stay there. Hustle on over. <laughs> this is so sick. <laughs> Here we go, boys. Oh my god, sir, I need I need to be over here. I'm scared of you. Who the hell are you? I'm waiting, Brooke. This is so cool! <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Yo, what up? What up, Pamp? On me, let's go. I'm Lucas Baramsko, but everyone knows me as Gilly. I've served in six squadrons and qualified on almost a dozen ships. So if you put in the time. I'll get you on the path to dogfighting with the best of them. We're gonna set you up in the ship on the landing pad over there. Hustle over and let's get going. Yo, don't tell me what to do. I'm the wing commander. Move it, move it, move it. Where am I going? Sprint. Went on foot. Hold left shift. Okay. Fair enough. I'm coming. I'm coming, boss. Looks like a Power Ranger. That's why this game is so good. Come on, pal. Can we be best friends? Sir! Sir! I love how he avoids collision too. This is- oh my god, this is so sick. What are we flying? Is this a Gladius? Yeah, we're flying Gladius right now. Gladius is a sick ship. Easy there, rookie. That's my ride. What? Where's my ride? Oh my god, this asshole. Where's my Aurora, damn it? Uh, can I fly the Super Hornet, please? Necromorphs pop out. Yeah, that's actually, um, when we found this, like, little area, it was actually one of the things that, uh, came up that, because this area was not lit, like, at all. Who's this guy? Yo, what up? Um, one of the, this, you could, like, fly, you could glitch into this area, and you would come in here, and it was like, the lighting was done so well, that it would like creep the shit out of you and it looked like like I think that's what they're gonna do. Are you Sir, please! I'm new! I'm Rook. Yeah. But yeah, this this new hangar, this is this just came out a couple hours ago. This is sick. Fly Gladius. I've only flown oh. this like once. Alright. Press F when we get to the interaction, yeah. So this opens up automatically. Awesome. This is a light fighter. It's a training ship, obviously. Well met! <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool. Alright. So this is our HUD here. Oh my god, this has been updated. Holy shit. Alright, first things first. Take a look around your cockpit and familiarize Yo, don't tell me to look at my cock! It's imperative to quickly find and access specific controls. Last thing you want to be doing in a scrap is bringing up the instructions. You'll notice the majority of your systems are disabled. I'll be controlling when they're on and offline to simulate potential scenarios and combat situations. Okay, mom. Let's get ready for takeoff. I'll do this step by step to show you how it's done. Systems, check. Engines, check. Tower, permission for launch. Clear for launch. Systems, Copy check. Tower. All right, first I want to lift vertically until I'm just clear of the landing pad. Hey, how'd you do that? I can straight forward onto the taxiway. Oh my god. This is so freaking now I'll sick. Square my ship up with the ceiling doors, ready for a vertical takeoff. <gasps> oh up there! He's gonna go through the roof! Oh my god! Once you're aligned, the tower will open the doors. Oh! <gasps> what? Oh my god. See ya. That is so cool. That's it. Once I clear Alright, here we go, boys. Turn. Welcome back, Bam. You're about to see the coolest shit ever. Yo, can I go? Ready? Come yes! We'll monitor your progress from up here. How's my power looking? Okay. When taking off from a governed landing zone, you should request permission by pushing mouse button three. Button three. You can't take off without permission by simply strafing off, but you may incur penalties. Okay. There are two takeoff modes. You will begin in manual mode. To automate the entire takeoff procedure, engage the automated mode with M. This is your disabled. This is disabled for basic training. Okay. 
Once clear of the landing zone of the hangar, the landing system will disengage you and you will regain full control of your ship. Okay. Cleared for launch. launch. Alright, strafing. Yeah, I know how to strafe. That's easy. Nice. Oh, God! Okay, now straight forward onto the taxiway. If you need it, the tower should have lit up your path. Make sure you don't pitch or roll. It'll be tough to get back into proper alignment. Don't align yourself with the middle of the doors. You'd be surprised how many crews forget that the cockpit is not the center of the ship. The tower will open the doors once you're lined up. I will not crash. I'm too pro at this game. You're lined up. Uh-oh. I pitched! I pitched! We're gonna go decoupled here. We did it. We do. Okay. Ah! No! Hold. Okay, free look, okay. Hey, welcome back, Goth. Let's look up. Beautiful space is above us. We did it! Wah! I won't crash, dude. I'm too pro at this. Yo, what? <laughs> Target you? Okay. Uh, why? Okay. Yeah, the 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 Gladius is extremely maneuverable. Okay. Okay, we know how to do that. We know how to match target velocity. Let's go, buddy. See, this would be way easier if we had a Thrustmaster, okay? This is an autopilot, so you still have to steer. But you'll notice that once you're locked, your computer will continue to monitor my speed and... End deformation! ...if I speed up slowly or stop fast. Oh, that's really cool. Matching target velocity is like the coolest shit you can do in this game. It's so awesome. Straight for Reno. Back, my friend is the Spire. Isn't she a beauty? Ah, uh, it's okay. It's 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 pretty mediocre, sir. This is my favorite part of training, the barrel roll. Oh, barrel roll! <laughs> so much fun. Rolling is a great way to orient your ship to fit through tight gaps or evade incoming fire. Now you give it a go. All right, you're able to roll your ship by rolling with A and D. Easy enough. Yeah, the game is sick, dude. It's like really beautiful, and this is on low settings. Nice one. Well, you seem to be able to handle your ship, so let's see if you can handle a bit of combat. Yo, are you trying to fight me right now? Okay, to increase power, your main thrusters W and S. Yeah. Okay, you can quickly tap. Okay, we know that. Do a barrel roll. You should have a contact. Oh, someone wants to rumble with us? Is that what you're trying to say right now? Just like the real thing, but its weapons are less than lethal. Saying that, they right, let's get to work. So try not to take any hits if you don't have to. Let me go and get our weapon groups changed here. Alright. Okay. G forces aren't yeah, the G forces will wreck us sooner or later. This will show real time damage. Shield status and a few other things. G Force is less? No, you can still black out and red out in this. It's pretty insane. I like it though. It's kind of annoying at the same time, but at that point your shots will hit the hull and cause lasting damage. Alright. Shields, yeah, we know about shields. Uh you can actually maneuver shields a little bit and focus them in different areas and balance them at different points. Uh oh! Whoops. Sorry guys. Unfortunately, my hotkeys for streaming aren't gonna work too well. What do I need to do? What's the objective at the moment? Good shot. Oh, I just have to shoot. Get dunk, scrub! Alright, let's do this. Each of those we'll do a little show off. Some strafe boys. Can't add G force if you don't have any G. Yeah, but your pitching and momentum actually is pretty legit. All right, with the target focused, uh, you need to predict where. It, yep. Okay. By extending the pips. Yep. We know how the pips work. Okay. Let's do this. Come here, scrub. See if we can get a cock shot on this mother trucker. Match. 
If we match their velocity, it actually uh, tends to work a bit better. There you go. Keep on the pressure. It shields are down. Finish it off with a missile. Oh, oh, oh. missile boys! Missile locking sensors are on the nose. Oh Jesus! So keep your target in front of you long enough to lock on. Launch! Launch! Get dunked, sir! Missiles away. Uh oh. We totally missed that, though. That's okay. Missile is still in hot pursuit. The missile does inherit, like, your relative velocity at the time of firing, so your missiles are actually quite quick. Unfortunately, I am apparently terrible with these things. See if we can get that. Oh, come on, missiles! This is the worst missiles in the history of the planet. Only a poor pilot blames his tools. There we go. Did we not hit him? On me, rookie. All right, nice. Where's my buddy at? There he is. On me, let's go. Yo, take it easy, man. Maybe if you weren't 80 years away. All right, nice. Let's move on. Uh oh. Looks like you had a friend. Take a look in your review camera. How do I do that? Period. What an awkward key. Sir, please. Missiles incoming. That hit took out your weapons. You'll have to hold out till they come back. Counters are still online. Use them. Last missile was heat seeking, so equip your flares. Helpful tip, don't boost after dropping one. Boosted thrusters are much hotter than a flare. Flares have a short lifetime. Don't be too quick to fire them. Another pro tip, countermeasures are flared. Are <laughs> they back. missiles? So never flared a missile head on, launch countermeasure and expect it to work. Watch it, rookie. Alright, where are they at? He's got locked. Missiles incoming. Deploy our countermeasure. Pretty easy there. Good. You got your guns back. I'll need more time to get your missiles up. If the drone gets behind you, enter decoupled mode to disengage your main engines and allow you to spin your ship around while retaining your original vector. Fair enough. Decoupled mode is amazing. It's a great way to dissuade your I love pursuit, decoupled mode. Sure you check your path ahead first. Give it a try. Just remember to disengage when you're done. Who is this guy? Missiles incoming. We're taking hits. Check your heart for shield and damage status. Okay. Fire and control bursts. And give your weapons time to cool. Never! My guns can't handle themselves, it's their fault. Going straight for Reno here. It's like the most most useful thing you can do. That's why I don't actually go into decoupled mode a lot of the times. But I totally deployed a flare that time. Come on, baby. Eat the thrust of fire, boy! Nice. Still don't have any missiles yet. Ease up. Your weapons are getting hot. Fly around, shoot stuff, make money, repeat. Well, this is one is actually different. Right now, this is just a flight simulator test bed for the overall game. Which is actually meant to be like a first person universe. So like, instead of like your ship being a character, like the actual character you play is your character, right? It's like my favorite part about it. Sir, how are you still alive? Missiles incoming. You got your missiles back. There you go. Down to Reno. We're heading back to the landing. So GTA in space, yeah, that's is essentially what it's meant to be. Um I don't know if it'll be quite uh, as immersive on planet side, 
But the space is supposed to be comparable uh, to the universe that they created in GTA. Turn to the training area? Uh oh. Sorry, boss. Where are you going? I'm coming. On me, rookie. I'm coming. Power Ranger confirmed. <laughs> Fine needs in one twenty four year old. They're counting. Thanks. I love Arena Commander. <laughs> So, the funny joke about that is Arena Commander is meant to be a video game, the current test bed anyway. It's meant to be a video game in fiction. So, it's actually... I really like that they said that. You must be an Arena Commander fan. <laughs> no matches velocity here. God, this is so cool. This should be close enough. Venture one of these. <laughs> All right. Uh, talk your landing system on and off with N. It's engaged. Any available landing zones within the radar range will be displayed as radar contacts. Okay. Cool. Pretty simple, I guess. Once landing mode's active, your HUD's gonna swap out your combat systems for landing-specific functionality. All right. We're headed to this landing pad. It's the same as cycling through targets. K with Y or C. Okay, Once we'll go C. Pad, land. Is this your ship or a simulator thing? This is just a simulation. This is meant to teach you the basic flight mechanics of this game because it's quite different from Elite, honestly. Right, we'll go to this guy. Your radar is replaced by the landing system. Okay. It'll guide you to your pad and help you perform a safe landing. You can use the automatic ETL landing procedure or do the whole thing manually. Right. Make sure your ship stays within the bounds of the pad, and keep your eye on your pitch and roll. Go ahead and pick this landing spot here. Yo, why am I going this way? What the hell? Advance a little bit further here. There we go. Nice. We must go deeper! A sim within a sim. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll go ahead and land on the landing pad here. Great work. While we're waiting, feel free to take a look at your ship setup. Okay. Ship pain. Pressing home allows us to interact. Okay. So if we want to, like, turn stuff off or manage our shields, we can go and do that. Your weapon groups, shield configuration, and power distribution. Wouldn't mess around with them during training. Topped off. Let's get back out there. Take off when you're ready. All right. All right. What do we want now? Zero to ten, no cup holder. In my uh, in my three twenty five A, there's two cup holders actually. Um, sir. Since this is like a military variant, uh, they don't have the luxury cup holders. But on my three twenty five A, there is. Which is quite awesome. Uh, sir, what are we supposed to do? Um, sir? Sir? What do you want me to do? Should we give him a kiss? Scott with cup holder, no paid mods. Yeah, no paid mods, please. Shh. We could be so much more. We could be together forever!
I don't love you that way anymore. Gilly. Maybe we just need to fly out here or something. I don't know. That was pretty much everything that was described in the tutorial, though. So I'm not entirely sure. What else were we even supposed to do? Sir! Be his Kappa Commander. <laughs> Here, we'll go land at the other landing pad just because. Why not? Paid mod rage mode active. <laughs> There we go. Maybe that's what we have to do? Maybe we just have to land at the other landing pad? I don't know. What do I need to do, senpai? I don't know. Maybe that's the end of it. Who knows? Think you could stay on my tail? Oh, hell yeah! Let's go! Need to get up to top there we speed go. In a hurry. Try boosting. Okay, I've shift. You can also use it to overpower your maneuvering thrusters in order to take tighter corners. Yeah, I know how to do this shit. You do have a limited amount that takes time to replenish, so don't go nuts with it. If you need to cut out a coupled mode, hurry, use your space brake. It's much quicker than dialing back your engines, and the moment you let go of it. You'll automatically accelerate back up to your previous speed. Okay. I don't like this Gladius because they slowed it down. Usually the Gladius' top speed is about 40 meters per second more. I'm not entirely sure why they uh, put all this together, discounted it. Oh, you think I can't? You want to fly in between the asteroids? You're a madman! You're crazy! Uh-oh. These ships are cheap. Oh! Still with me, kid? Yeah. Good job. Now, one thing you need to understand: every ship's outfitted with systems to look out for you. That last sharp turn, you probably felt your ship clamp down on the speed. That's your G-safe system kicking in, making sure that you aren't taking too many G-forces and blacking out. If you need to get that extra edge in turning, you can disable G-safe, but be warned. G safe is for scrubs. Oh god. You also have Comstab, which adjusts your forward velocity so you can make controlled turns. Disabling Comstab will allow you to maintain your velocity in turns, but you will drift wider. We like drifting though, that's okay. Comstab isn't too bad. Just takes out basically all of the fun of flying though. Just drifting and compensating for it is amazing. This is really cool. I love this tutorial. This is a really good tutorial. All right. I'm a little impressed. Please, sir! I could bullseye whop rats my T-16 back home all day long. Race you to the spire. Yo, you got a head start, man! The hell is this crap? Hold on, I've got contacts inbound. Uh oh. <laughs> Here we go, boys. <laughs> That's how we do things in America. Oh god, we blacked out. Uh oh. You're taking hits. Just not good. For shield and damage status. All right, let's roll with it. I'm gonna get a missile lock, let's go. There we go. Crash number one! Yo, I didn't die! It's not a bad crash. Obviously. Stay sharp. We've got more hostiles in battle. God, we got more? That glaive's a recognized ace. Enemy designation is tank. We're gonna have to work together to take it down. Target the glaive. Okay. There's tank. Tank boys! Come here, scrub. I 
I have 8 million confirmed kills, bruh. Good kill. Yeah! You're cleared to engage the rest. Good luck. Oh, you're just gonna make me do it, huh? Fair enough. Bye. Another one down. Missile Commander, boys. Bye, sir. Beauty. On me, rookie. We're clear. <laughs> Hell of a training session, huh? Woo!